definitely think the turtles are the most attractive. Hello, Hero. Hey, guys. Welcome. And girls. To this very special and snowy episode of Book of Addendums. And because it is so snowy, we would like to share with you it is snowy. It's a weird. beautiful... It's Texas and it's snowy. I know, crazy. Story time. But Texas is snowy just like everywhere else. Just not as much. <laughs> it, uh, okay, so we woke up this morning and we were like, hey, Sunday morning, breakfast, right? Breakfast, mm -hmm. that's a normal... Uh, my hand, where are my hands? So we decide, okay, let's walk and get breakfast. So we step outside. It's a decent temperature. We've got normal clothes on. It's like 40, maybe? Guns N' Roses shirt. This mm -hmm. is my snow day shirt. Scarf. And hat. Hat wear? So we walk to McDonald's. It's like, it's like uh, one mile, maybe one mile Probably walk. less. So we go in. We get our food. And they mm -hmm. look at us like we're weird because I'm wearing a purple hat. And Josh is making strange comments like he does. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we eat our breakfast and we walk out. And a giant storm has fallen has upon fallen the land. fallen on Texas. Like, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it's a blizzard outside. And It went from 40 to probably like 25. We, yeah. So a very short period of time. We had to walk through that. We walked back. Through, we, we braved the storm mm -hmm. for you, hero. So here's our story. story well, time. I think we should still get a, um, a topic from the audience. Uh, okay. Mm, close your eyes. Let's see. Mm. Wow, you're, you're dirty. You are dirty. Some of you bastards are raunchy. Okay, okay, we're not going with any of that weirdness. Okay. <clears throat> I think I've got one. Open it up. In the beginning, there was a giant crystalline tower built by the ancient race of the troll monkeys from, you know, Neptune. It's where they originate. But this crystalline structure was here on the Earth since the beginning of time. And every few days, something magical erupts from it. Yes. A legion of fairy farts, because it is colonized on the inside, this crystalline tower is uh, <clears throat> where fairies originally incepted upon our loving world. Mm -hmm. And so every few days, there's, uh, I mean, all the gas builds up and there's like a magical explosion mm -hmm. of fairy fart that comes out of this crystalline tower that's mm -hmm. in the lower reaches of South America. Yeah, I mean, the trolls originally tried to barricade all that up so that the farts couldn't get out, but the fairies were just the fairies are too, too strong. <laughs> they will not be stubborn. Mm -hmm. It's one of those delicate ecosystem things where eventually the fairies just kind of started eating all the fungus, and the fungus couldn't stop the fairies from growing anymore. And it was bad. But now that the aliens are gone, this is an ancient, it's, ancient temple. Yes. And there's nothing that humans can do about it. Nothing. And one particular, our hero in this story, um, not to be confused with you, hero, uh, Sir Jeffrey, the, uh, lonely, the, provinces. the lonely fairy, decided that there was more to life than just catastrophic uh, fart expulsion fart expulsion <laughs> on a pretty regular basis there's there's more than just scheduled farting mm -hmm. time because the fairies have a very rigid society and that's really all they had time for i mean they would eat fungus so that they could become more powerful and then every few days they had to get rid of that fungus somehow yeah but sir jeffrey had had enough he knew that he could find love in a distant land because mm -hmm. fairies don't believe in love they don't have time for it. They don't. Uh, all they have is the, the, you know, farting. Mm -hmm. That's all that's on the docket. Eat, fart, eat, fart. But he'd had enough. So one day, it was, I believe, June 30th, 1987, he, uh, Sir Jeffrey decided, you know what? I'm climbing out of this literal shithole, and I'm going to make something for myself. So he did. He, he did climb. He did climb. Jeffrey happened to be... Uh, he um, jumped up the... Uh, I mean, it's lined with fungal, like, mushroom discs mm -hmm. all around mm -hmm. this tower, and he, like... Poof, and you like, have to understand how hard this was for Jeffrey, because even though he didn't like the fairy docket, he did respect other fairy peoples and did not want to hurt them, but every didn't. time he, he jumped from one mushroom to another, he knew that those fungal mushrooms would fall to the ground and not be able to be eaten anymore, and so... 
but he took that risk anyway. He did. He Mario'd his way up the, if you will. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm assuming some of you have played Mario. Anyway, he got out of the Crystalline Tower. It took him seven long days. Seven long days. Because it's a very tall tower. And he couldn't really eat all those days because no. he was jumping on all his food and they were falling. Mm -hmm. and Although he, luckily it's very misty in that Crystalline Tower, so he had plenty to drink. So when he got out and he started making his way through, you know, South America, um, mm -hmm. up into Chihuahua, he came across some, <laughs> some, some coffee beans for the first time in his life. He ate something other than mushroom and, uh, and oh my gosh, let me tell you what. Fairies on caffeine? You've never uh -huh. you've never seen so uh -huh. many little fart Well luckily sessions. Luckily for us, coffee beans don't cause fairies to fart. For some reason the fungus just happens to not quite mesh up with their systems and it just That's all I've got. But the coffee beans actually have a triple reaction with fairies because they're already three times as fast as humans, so the caffeine from the coffee beans is processed very quickly. Mm-hmm. And it basically turned him into some kind of superhero. At least a superhero. A, fa I mean, a fairy well, level we superhero. A superhero. I mean, if we did what he did relatively, we would be considered superhuman. Mm -hmm. But he's like super fairy. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to, from now on, refer to him as Super Fairy Jeffrey. Yes. So Sir Super Fairy Jeffrey grabbed up a bunch of these coffee beans. A bunch of coffee beans. Because he knew he would need them to liberate his people. Mm -hmm. And he hired three... Little uh, roly poly mm -hmm. things. You know those like roly polies that sometimes come into your house during the winter and uh, roll up in your bathroom because it's warm. Well, he hired three roly poly captains. Yes, they were each wearing of which, armor. Mm -hmm, each of which had their own legion of roly poly warriors mm -hmm. and pikes. They all had pikes. pikes because Jeffrey knew that to take out the crystalline tower, he would need help. Mm -hmm. And he would have to win the approval of the termite king. And the only way to do that is to woo the termite princess. And the only way to woo the termite princess is, of course, 